Hello, 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 Cancer. Welcome, my loves, back to the channel for another Cancer reading. For those of you who are not new to this, but you're true to this, welcome to the channel to anyone who is a new visitor. My name is True, and this is True Water Intuition, and I am back to do a Cancer Collective, or a Cancer reading for my Cancer Collective. Oh, spirit, what messages do we have for my cancers today? Messages. Hopefully these messages find you guys in the best of health and spirit. Okay, first message out, my love, is the Ace of Wands. Let's go into it. Cancers. So you guys, this overall energy is that of the nine of pentacles. This is you being single and abundant on your own, financially stable, secure. This is emotional independence. This is the minor arcana for the damn empress, but the empress is already here behind the scenes. So this says that you guys are evolving, Cancer. You're evolving into this energy, this vibration of the empress. I feel like you're aligning yourself with this vibration. Vibration. Like that is your heart's desire. Maybe this seven of swords is certain things that have come against your mind. Certain things that have come against you externally even. Trying to uh, deflect your attention. Distract you. Make you feel like something isn't going to work in your favor. Making you feel like that dream. That thing that you have your heart set on is out of touch. It's off limits towards you. Some of y'all with this Queen of Pentacles energy, I feel like you got yourself very grounded here in this recent past energy. And there's some sort of opportunity that's coming your way. For some of y'all, somebody tried to stop this opportunity. Whoever is in this Seven of Swords energy, they tried to prevent whatever this new beginning. They tried to come against this new beginning, okay? Tried to sabotage it. This could be someone throwing dirt on your name, I'm hearing. This could even be someone that is um, lying and manipulating, trying to sabotage some sort of new beginning, okay, with the Ace of Wands. They don't want to see you be in this energy of the Queen of Pentacles, so somebody could be trying to sabotage this cancer, but we're going to get into it a little bit more. Maybe some of y'all have already maybe cut this individual out or circumstance, whatever, even if it's just a way of thinking, then you've gotten yourself very grounded and you feel this energy very passionate, very excited about starting over fresh. I feel like something with the tower, this is like some sort of shocking news or something that's unexpected here. This could even represent some sort of epiphany that occurs, right? Some of y'all, this is surprise and awe because the first thing that I thought about just looking at this row right here, somebody could be finding out that they're pregnant. So you could be celebrating a new pregnancy. Some of y'all, this is meeting someone new and you're celebrating this new relationship, okay? I feel like if this is a new relationship, this is someone who views you as very resourceful, very grounded, very practical. Also, someone who is very independent, someone who's very strong, very um, witty even, uh, very fiery energy as well. Um, and maybe somebody is wanting to move forward. I feel like this setting of swords could just represent in the past you dealt with a lot of people who were very... Um, not up front, maybe, with their intentions and when it comes to relationships, right? So someone who could be manipulative, a liar, you know, the people that lie and kind of like string you along even when they know they don't have the best intentions, but you've moved away from that type of energy and what you're headed towards is this Ten of Cups. 
Um, some of y'all are also distancing yourself from people who are jealous of you, envious of you with this seven of swords, people who are deceptive, okay? And you're putting distance between yourself and that type of energy and you're moving on, moving forward, but you're headed towards this ten of pentacles. I'm sorry, this ten of cups energy right here, cancer. That's your ultimate happiness and bliss, my love. I mean, I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all, this is wish fulfillment. Some of y'all could be moving, relocating. I'm kind of getting that energy as well. Maybe that's something that surprises, I don't know, with the tower. This could be something that's either shocking you or shocking people around you. Others of you, this could be in reference to a job or job promotion because we see both the queens here. So some of y'all could have definitely been uh, promoted to some sort of higher position here. Others of you could be embarking on this journey of um, like starting your own business with the Queen of Wands energy. Very creative energy here. Somebody could have like... Um, your favorite flower is a sunflower. Some of y'all have very strong Leo placements as well. Somebody could be a stylist. Sometimes when I'm looking at these cards, I, I get wrapped up in their the hairstyles, bro. Like, because, I mean, come on now. Look at the ponytail. You see? Yes, honey. You see? Look, come through hair on fleek okay i'm just saying honey you see it uh-oh oh Ooh, look at the seven of pentacles something you've been waiting on is coming in cancer and bringing in this energy of stability some of y'all this is that life of luxury and even how the zodiac signs are like around her is giving me a clock so it's like divine timing. Some of y'all are birthing something new in this time. And literally somebody is pregnant, as I said before. <clears throat> Give me something on the Nine of Pentacles. Let's go ahead and clarify these Nine of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups is clarifying the Nine of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, this is definitely some sort of wish fulfillment, my darling. This is the ultimate happiness and bliss. It's been very slow coming. But, Cancer, I'm hearing you were very diligent. Um, you didn't give up. You, felt, you kept your faith strong in this time. And you remained... Um, I guess loyal to your vision okay you didn't just decide to give up on the vision because it was taking a long time or something seemed like it was at a delay another thing that I'm kind of getting off of this though cancer somebody some of y'all already walked away from is wanting another opportunity with you and this is something that's going to surprise you or for some of y'all, I'm kind of getting, like, let's say somebody is coming back into your energy, Cancer. Wanting another opportunity. Give me one more chance. Biggie, biggie, give me one more chance, okay? Give me a second, y'all. All right, where was I? I don't even remember. Oh, that's what I was saying. So, somebody... Wants another opportunity. Give them one more chance, Cancer. That's what they want. And for some of y'all, this could have been someone you wanted a relationship with, Queen of Pentacles, or this could be saying this person was already in a relationship that they were not honest about with the Seven of Swords. This could even be that some of you are in a relationship with someone and you're finding out about some sort of deception. So maybe someone is deciding to end a relationship, walk away from someone who was deceptive, and go out there and, you know, go after your best life at the end of the day because you realize um, that you, you deserve better and you can have better. So maybe some of y'all are becoming single if you were in a relationship, masculine or feminine. Um, and others of you, there is someone who, as I was saying before, could be trying to come back into your uh, energy for another opportunity. Okay? I feel like with this Three of Wands, though, Cancer... 
Some of y'all done either moved on, meaning you in a new relationship when this person come back in and that's what's crushing their ass. That's what's got them sh shocked. Like, I can't believe you moved on. I can't believe you're booed up with someone new because they felt like they just had you cancer. Okay, I'm just saying. Others of y'all have literally maybe not moved on when it comes to a relationship, but you've moved Okay, because this is travel with this three of wands. And that's something that's shocking someone or surprising someone or, I don't know, crushing somebody's feelings. But it's looking like somebody is wanting another opportunity, honey. Maybe somebody is talking about they want a relationship. Others of y'all are moving on from a relationship. And... You feel like maybe with this Knight of Pentacles, this has been a long time coming. Like, shit, I should have been left this damn relationship, but maybe you stayed for children. Maybe you stayed because of finances. You could even stay simply because you just love this person or because you didn't want to end the relationship. I mean, no one gets in a relationship or gets married in hopes of divorce or breakups, right? Let's clarify the rest of the board. our overall energy when it comes to our clarifiers so starting back here in this past energy as i said before you had somebody who either you feel like this person was not seeing your worth and your value or they just weren't treating you as if they saw your worth and your value maybe this is even you realizing that you were settling for something that you didn't have to settle for cancer um, because now you're realizing your own damn worth and value and you know that you don't have to deal with struggle love okay you know that you are this queen of pentacles you deserve a stable loving relationship okay where you feel stable you feel secure um, and somebody wasn't giving that to you some of y'all could have been dealing with someone as I said before maybe the burden was the fact that they were already in a damn relationship okay or the burden is the fact that they're stepping outside of a relationship with you either way that's what was making this connection very difficult so some of you guys decided to end the connection ten of wands is an ending so that's why some of you have become single others of you Hell, you could have even been dealing with somebody in the past that even if they were in some sort of situation, for some of y'all, they could be going through an ending within that relationship and they're secretly wanting to come towards you asking for another opportunity, my love. Okay? Possibility for some of you guys. Um, others of you, I feel like this is your mentality. So getting rid of this seven of swords mentality where you're it's always expecting the worst, okay? Always expecting something to not go in your favor. Now you're understanding your worth and your value. Some of y'all, somebody could be lying about a contract or, oh Lord, forging some shit on a document, signing something illegally. And maybe this is something that has caused quite a burden on you. But I feel like the hermit is like getting a new perspective or it's all about gaining understanding knowledge, okay? So somebody could be finding something out with this Ace of Wands and this giving you a new beginning. It's making you very excited, like you're very happy about whatever this lie that has been told. This could be something pertaining to legalities. Um, sometimes the title gives me like court documents and things of that nature 
some of y'all this could be surrounding with the ace of pentacles being what's crowning the present energy i'm gonna say like a will or um inheritance some sort of trust fund or taxes bro like <laughs> Somebody that either filed somebody child um, fraudulently or something along those lines. And they ass finna get caught up. And I feel like it's bringing in this energy of excitement. Others of y'all, I feel like you've just been dealing with a very tough time, Cancer, with this Queen of Pentacles energy and the Ten of Wands. You feel burdened. You have a lot on your shoulders, but you carrying that goddamn load, Cancer. That's all I can say. And with the Hermit and the Ace of Wands... I feel like for some of you, this Ace of Wands is like a new opportunity. Maybe some of you have this opportunity to relocate with the Ace of Wands. Or this is like starting a job, um, maybe a new job or starting a job for yourself. Something that you're passionate about. Um, but you're kind of keeping this to yourself, whatever this opportunity is. Maybe you just feel like you don't want to share this right now. I don't know. Current energy... I see you very hard at work with the Eight of Pentacles. Some of y'all are hard at work because you want to move. For those of you that have not moved, maybe this is you are planning to move. Maybe you're waiting on some money with the Eight of Pentacles so that you can move. Some of y'all, this is trying to create stability for yourself. So some of y'all have been definitely doing a lot of work related to your own business in this time. Maybe some of y'all feel like your ships are kind of on delay, in a sense, with this Three of Wands. Something pertaining to your finances is on delay. Others of you, this is somebody who want to work something out with you. This is someone coming in wanting to work out a relationship, but you're at a distance. Eight of Pentacles is usually talking about focusing on something. Maybe that's what y'all are focused on. You focused on moving, okay? You focused on work. You focused on your money. You focused on your stability in this time. The Three of Wands and the Queen of Wands make the Four of Wands that's right here. So that's what you focused on, your stability. Some of y'all have even decided it's like you've turned your back on love and now you're just focused on your stability all over, all around. Not really focused on love at all because all of this is pentacles, honey. And what's crazy is the eight minus the seven is the ace of pentacles, yo. <laughs> Something is surprising the hell out of you, Cancer. This brand new shiny opportunity here. Some of y'all, this is financial Others of y'all, this is some sort of opportunity, as I said before. Maybe like a job offer. It's like you like, bro, I wasn't supposed to get this job or I wasn't supposed to get this or that. It's something that you felt was off limits. That's why I said it was all about your mentality for some of y'all that you had to shift in order to manifest what this is. And then for some, this is a damn relationship. And that's another reason why it's surprising the hell up out of you. Some of y'all, this is actually somebody who you already know and you probably felt like this situation was over with the tower. But with the Ace of Pentacles, now somebody is offering a relationship. And you could be feeling like, bro, where was that damn offer when I wanted it? <laughs> okay, where was that motherfucking offer when I actually wanted it? Because now you standing there looking at the damn Ace of Pentacles like, I don't even know if I want that shit anymore. Okay, because all they offering up is one damn ace, but you see all them pentacles you done planted by your motherfucking self. Okay, where was they whenever you was putting all this work in? They was nowhere. So now you're trying to figure out, do you even want to share what you have built and created, what you have been doing for yourself? Do you even want to share that with this person? Somebody who could have treated you like you was just the fling okay with this queen of wands energy or somebody who hell cancer sometimes people just are intimidated of someone who is very bold someone who is very self-sufficient and independent okay sometimes these folks want you to depend on them at the end of the day and so some of y'all be like i don't even know if i want it anymore with the seven of pentacles you're looking at the offer but you look very uninterested is what I'm saying or seeing. You might feel like, hell, this person was not focused on you before. So why they fo why they trying to focus on you now? 
Others of y'all, this Eight of Pentacles is something, Ace of Pentacles is something you've been waiting on. And you probably could be telling me with the Three of Wands, you've been waiting on this for quite some time, especially with the Knight of Pentacles being here. And all throughout this energy of waiting, you've been doing your due diligence, working, staying focused on the right things, okay? Having faith and trust in the divine um, and not allowing your this Ten of Wands, whatever, this current circumstance for some of you to defeat you. And it's paying out in your favor and that's what that surprise is all about. This is some shocking news, but it's good news with the Ace of Pentacles. You got new doors opening up to you with this Seven of Cups energy, honey. Some of y'all, this is new opportunities when it comes to love, okay? So, people that are wanting to date you, get to know you. Some of y'all, this is also an energy. It's kind of like you don't believe whatever this is. You know how when something good happens in your life and you like, oh my God. Especially if it's something you felt was off limits and then you get it. So, for example... You've been waiting on a relationship, waiting on a relationship, thought you was going to be single forever. And then you meet this amazing person. And it's like, it's I can't even believe this shit. Seven of Cups, you can't even really fathom how this has happened. Like, where have you been all my life? Or somebody could be feeling this way about you, Cancer. Where have you been all my life? Hmm? Some of y'all, I said also that someone could be in a relationship, but they're breaking up. The Tower and the Ace of Pentacles, somebody is going through a breakup here. And for some of y'all, there's someone who is going through a breakup and they're thinking about approaching you, Cancer. Remember I said if you was dealing with somebody in the past, they were in a relationship, they have put an end to this relationship. Um, maybe due to some sort of... I don't know, lies, manipulating, cheating, infidelity. Uh, it could have something to do with some sort of court documents, paperwork, whatever. Okay, birth certificate. Okay, I don't know, because that, that's been coming up heavy in the reads as well. But somebody is dropping this burden. And for some of y'all, I feel like this, for some of y'all, this could be a Virgo with the Hermit. This person is watching you. Maybe even trying to, at once again, figure out, like, they're thinking about coming towards you asking for another opportunity, okay? Like, forgive me. Please give me one more chance. But I feel like this person is hard at work, maybe trying to get their money up, especially if you're going through, like, a divorce or some sort of separation. Maybe somebody got to move out. They got to get their money up, Cancer. But with this Seven of Pentacles, they are pondering... An investment with this Queen of Wands. And I don't know how you're going to feel about this, Cancer, because this Seven of Cups is here. It's like yo, you have mixed feelings. Because this person could be telling you, you're my Ten of Cups. But you like, huh, where was that energy? Okay. Where was your antennas? <laughs> When the niggas were stealing my shit out the stuff. Where was your antennas when you was in this person's life? They treated you like you was an option. They didn't see you as anything but a damn option. That's how you feel. So you call judgment on this person. You don't you probably don't even see this person as your four wands. Others of y'all are in another relationship. And that's what's got this person in the seven of cups. Okay? Because some of y'all feel like this person is delusional with this seven of cups energy like especially if it's been a long time the seven of pentacles could represent seven years now i know good and well ain't nobody been at a distance for you for no seven years some of y'all one year others of y'all eight years i don't know take it how it resonates but and they think that you haven't moved on they think that they still got the same pool delusional okay Yes, maybe for some of y'all, this is also saying that this person is, maybe they stuck and not coming in saying anything because their feelings are like all over the place. One On one hand, they want to come in, but on the other, they're afraid. And they got to make a decision, honey, with the judgment. Somebody could also be getting a divorce. Somebody could have multiple baby mamas. 
child what with the seven of cups maybe that's who this person had you in competition with or in rotation with uh, as an option with okay child WTF okay I feel like this is also you doing some shopping cancer. The Seven of Cups also gives me window shopping sometimes or online shopping. Some of y'all could be shopping for your home, shopping for some sort of large purchase that's here. Some of y'all, if this is a job, maybe you're shopping because you're trying to get like everything that you need for this job when it comes to uniform and all of those things. Also, if there was some sort of confusion that was taking place as I talked about before with some sort of court or legal matters and that's what you're getting you're being compensated for this it's been quite some time you've been dealing with this circumstance but I feel like you kept your focus in the right place um, and now this is what's coming in this money this money from a wheel this inheritance this home even this vehicle whatever the case may be cancer some of y'all feel like, bro, I wasn't even supposed to get this new car with the way my credit is set up or whatever, okay? And you like, bro, I got it anyway. Somebody is like, here you go. And this Seven of Cups could represent other individuals as well. Like, I feel like it's going to be a mixture, meaning you're going to have some people that's happy for you and other people who are not cancer. It's just about being able to see through the confusion for who the fuck is who, okay? Be able to decipher who is who, who are the people that care and who are the people that are in their feelings because something good is taking place in your life. This judgment is saying that this is something that's coming in from the divine. It's bringing in an energy of stability. Some of y'all, this is a relationship that some people going to be happy for you. Other people are not. Others of you, this is your new car. This is your new job. This is your new home. I, this could be your new friend group even. Somebody jealous. Somebody. Some people going to be happy for you. Others are not. Simple as that. You might even have mixed feelings and it's like you don't know what decision to make if it's about forgiving someone because somebody hurt you with this five of cups. They disappointed you. They disappointed you. They could have broken your heart, Cancer. Uh, you and the, oop, child, look, the two of swords. So you could have even blocked this person or you felt like you were very blocked when it came to your intuition. This could even be y'all rejecting somebody, just being honest, okay? You blocking this person out. Some of y'all, there are people who you're, it's like you're doing well, but you're not communicating with someone and they feel sad because they want to communicate with you. They want to rejoice in your good news. They want to tell you how happy they are for you. But Cancer, you might be in the energy with the Seven of Cups where you might just not be believing. <laughs> okay, so it's one of those situations like because you might not be able to know for sure. Like, okay, yeah, you say you happy, but how do I know that? You know what I'm saying? So, you might just be, for some of y'all, keeping people at bay because that's why you're in that single energy of the Nine of Pentacles. Pushing people away, in a sense, Cancer. Or just staying to yourself with the Hermit energy here, too, on the board. See? No new friends. That's what y'all saying with the damn Two of Swords. Yeah. Because you done been hurt before. Look, that three of pentacles, I'm sorry, the three of cups is back here too. So you're celebrating, but someone is not able to celebrate with you. Somebody doesn't know what's going on. They feel some type of way. They're sad. Okay? Somebody could be trying to act like everything is fine, but they not. They sad. Cancer, this could even be your energy. So take it how it resonates. Some of y'all are rejecting someone who... They didn't know what they had when they had it, so now they kind of SOL. And so they acting like everything is fine, but they are not fine, honey, at all. Okay? They hurt, hurt. You see this ten of swords? Extremely hurt, my love, but they, they acting like everything is fine. Some of y'all, this is spirit's way of telling you if you've been going through some struggle, if you've been going through a difficult time, things are delayed, it's been taking some time, and you're dealing with this damn tower, and you haven't seen this Ace of Pentacles, and you just like, Spirit! Where's that? Where's that? God damn! Because you're tired of waiting, Cancer, guess what? 
that's your promise. This is the promise, but you could be looking at your external circumstances and it's like one minute you believe in the promise and the next minute you don't. But the Ten of Cups is going to come in. The judgment is here. This stability is coming in, but you just don't see it right now. So you could be feeling this Five of Cups kind of crying over spilt milk. But you see that Two of Cups is behind you, my love. And this Nine of Cups is going to come in. This wish fulfillment. And I know y'all probably be like, bro. Especially when you're going through this type of shit right here. Like, everybody keeps saying it's coming in, it's coming in. Where is that? Where is that? Or, everybody keeps saying my person is coming back. Where they at? Where they at? Everybody keeps saying a new person coming in. Where is that? Where is that? Where he at? Where she at? Well, patience. Okay, Spirit said everything is fine. Even though you might not feel that way. And I get it. Trust me. Okay, because some of y'all don't see this coming with the two of swords, but you might feel it intuitively. So listen to your intuition. You see the moon back there? Instead of trying to trust what your eyes see, stop looking at things from the 3D and trust your intuition, my love. Because some of y'all are blocked when it comes to your intuition. And this three of cups means that you are definitely going to be celebrating some sort of good news. You're just going to have to be a little bit more patient. Others of you, there's someone coming in wanting to reconcile. Okay, they want to reconcile with you and they're trying to tell you that they are no longer, I'm not dealing with that other situation. They blocked it out. They cut it off. Okay, um, and Cancer, honestly, you might even still be a little hurt. And based on whatever this person did to you, but you acting like everything is fine, or it's them who has gone through some sort of hurtful circumstance, okay? Maybe they didn't uh, realize they were sleeping with the devil, okay, or some shit like that. And so they hurt about whatever took place, but they acting like everything is okay. That might even be another reason why you reject this person, because it's like, if they going through something and they need to heal, like... At this point, Cancer, you don't want to have to mix your energy with any damn body who is healing over anything from their past, like a relationship or something like that. If they still healing over a past relationship, then how can, how can they start a new relationship? Like, come on now. That's not healthy. Um, and that's probably not going to go in the best way. So, yeah, Cancer, I mean, look, you've been waiting. It's coming in. Yeah, some of y'all just don't really know how to feel about whatever this offer is, especially if it's coming in from a person that has done some things in the past that might not be the best. They've hurt you. They've caused some sort of pain. They, I don't know, left you during the time that was very difficult. Maybe you went through, some of y'all could have went through some sort of loss. And this person could have turned their backs on you or whatever the case may be. Now, they're coming in wanting your forgiveness, wanting another opportunity, and you don't know how to feel about it with the Seven of Cups. A part of you might have, you know, still be like, well, it would be good if I could just forget about the shit that has happened. But the fact of the matter is, you can't just forget about the shit that has happened, Cancer. Some of y'all, somebody could be coming in trying to tell you their little sob story, make you feel sorry for them. Oh, they didn't know. Giving you some kind of, like, uh, excuses even. So make sure you're trusting your intuition in that regard as well. Because we don't want the sob stories. Boom with the Ace of Cups. This is abundance overflowing. This is that good news, honey. Um, I'm trying to tell y'all, though, y'all are shopping. <laughs> Okay, Cancer, you about to be shopping, honey. I don't know, maybe some of y'all shopping for spring. You know, we coming into the spring solstice. So maybe some of y'all are upgrading your uh, wardrobe or something for spring. Online shopping here. Saving up your money. This could be like Spirit is saying this is an opportunity for you to save. Or this is like you reaping that harvest here.
Oh yeah, somebody trying to manifest you back. You see, that's the magician. You can't see it. The magician was under the three of cups. So somebody is definitely trying to manifest you back. I also feel like you have manifested some sort of good news. Whatever this was that you've been trying to manifest, you are manifesting and that's what you're celebrating. So you're coming out of this energy of the two of swords and the ten of swords. And now you do now you see that everything really is fine. It's like damn. I was all stressed out, worried, emotions all over the damn place. Why can't I just be at peace? Why didn't I just trust in the divine and you know be in the energy of the ten of cups of knowing and believing in the promise? But you know that's a lesson, okay, that you've learned that's going to help build up more and more stability and strength within yourself so that if anything happens, not saying that something is going to happen, but if you were to go through some sort of circumstance, you will know, you will have a better idea of how to deal with your mentality because this Ten of Swords is also just mental stress. So overthinking things, thinking the worst, feeling like you alone, and you having a lot of dark thoughts, you know? But some of y'all are like, man, I wish I would I I'm I'm I wish I had a stronger mind because if I had a stronger mind, I wouldn't have stressed myself out so much. I would have just believed and trusted that everything would be fine and you know, just been a little bit more patient. But honey, all in all, I see nothing but good things, okay? Some of y'all, this is celebrating a new relationship, a, a baby, as I said before. Adding on to a family situation, and this Seven of Cups can be nausea. <laughs> nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. I'm not trying to say anybody got some diarrhea, y'all, but... Hey, the commercial came through my mind, so there you go. Maybe some of y'all dealing with one of those things. <laughs> I don't know. But somebody has a new addition coming into their home. This could even be like an adoption. Oh, wow. But, my Cancers, those are your messages. If these messages resonated, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And feel free to let me know below in the comments. And I'm going to catch you guys a little later in another reading. Until then, take care, my loves.